Welcome to this series of training tutorials on general hydrostatics, better known as GHS. In this series of training sessions, we're going to cover basic operation of GHS, automation of GHS, the main program features, essentially the basics of what you need to know of how to work with GHS. This is not the be-all, end-all training session for everything you need to know about GHS. But what we're going to cover is 90% of the common work. Uh, the basic idea is that you can certainly go to the manual, you can look up commands, but there's not really any easily accessible training or tutorials out there to give you a nice structured introduction to the program. That's what these videos and these training sessions are going to introduce. First, a quick disclaimer so that I don't end up with a lawsuit. Uh, this presentation is for instruction only. It's not to be used in engineering or construction. I am not a representative of Creative Systems. This presentation is not endorsed by Creative Systems, and I make no claims of accuracy to the latest version of the GHS software. If you're interested in the official training for GHS, contact Creative Systems. You can look up their website, www.ghsport.com, or contact them directly via phone or email. So, first question, what is GHS? GHS stands for General Hydrostatics. It is a software that's used in the marine community for hydrostatic analysis. It's really important to get this concept across from the beginning though. It is also a programming language. Uh, you can use it for loading condition analysis and it works primarily through command line inputs. Also very important to know, it only works for static analysis. So if you're worried about things like how your ship responds to waves, or if you're worried about maneuvering abilities, uh, GHS does not handle any of that. It has a few quasi-static options that we'll get into later, but generally this is just static analysis. So where do you go to find information about GHS? That's the first question you need to ask. Uh, first place you can go to is the GHS website www.ghsport.com. On that website, you can also find a training manual that's very helpful. And of course, there's always the help file in GHS. And that you can just type the command help, with the space, and then the command name. For example, help draft. You can also see the help menu in GHS itself. So, to test out that, here's the very first homework that you can do. Uh, open up GHS and actually click on the help menu and look up the help for these three commands draft, GHS, and status. Those are the actual names of commands. I will point out that you will need a working copy of GHS for this to work. Okay, now that you've gotten done with the homework, let's cover a few more basics. First thing, you, next thing you need to know is the GHS coordinate system. Uh, by default, GHS uses an American coordinate system for ships. Uh, what I mean by that is that the origin for the coordinate system is oriented to start at the bow of the ship, uh, the x-axis points aft, the y-axis will point positive to starboard, and the z-axis points positive up, up. Now you can reposition your origin to several other places on the ship depending on how you define your model, but this is important to know that this is natively how GHS thinks about it. Not so much interested in the position, but keep an eye on the orientation of the axes. An alternative that you can also use is a European coordinate system. Uh, that's where you start at the aft perpendicular of your ship, uh, and then you go forward. And again, in this case, positive x points forward instead of aft. Positive y points to port, and again, positive Z points up. So just keep these two coordinate systems in mind. The default is natively coded into GHS, which is the American coordinate system, and the alternative European coordinate system. These are the two most popular options. We'll get into more about why that matters in later tutorials. So I mentioned later tutorials. What are we going to cover in all these training sessions? Well, first off, we're going to start off with the uh, 100 area, which is all about the GHS interface. You know, how do you actually interact with the program? Then we'll get into model creation, 
how do you actually create ships in GHS, output control, which is dealing with formatting essentially. Then we're going to talk about how to start actually using GHS for basic hydrostatics. We're going to go into intact stability analysis, damage stability analysis, structural analysis, mainly longitudinal strength. Then we're going to combine all of those together into GHS scripting, which is using it for automation. And finally, we're going to cover a few extra special features. So the idea, as you can see here, is we're going to start at the most basic and slowly build up the skills that you'll need to essentially be able to use GHS for all of the common analyses that you would do in naval architecture. And with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can check out more of these training videos on dmsonline.us. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.